ketchup. Yes, you heard me right. See that there? Loads of you, and I mean loads of you, have been sending me the image of clear ketchup. And they're like, Barry, you're the clear recipe guy. Remember we've done like clear tacos and all that sort of stuff. Clear crisps in the past too. Can you try it? And I was like, oh my gosh, this is quite clearly someone's put wallpaper paste in a tube of ketchup. Fair play, they've done the label, but okay. I give in, let's do it. Now the good thing for me is this is something I've already sort of done before. Do you remember I did a clear tomato soup video? <laughs> it's just so weird. I don't know if I need to get it as clear today either. I kind of like the idea of it being slightly murky anyway as we thicken up too, but hopefully we'll get to that point. And ketchup, as we know, is quite, I mean, it's extremely sugary, isn't it, and salty. So we might need to sort of play around with the flavors and get that tasting right, because otherwise it's gonna almost be like too nice. And we don't want it to be too nice. We want it to be as clear as we can. I am so scared if this is gonna work, but also very excited. So for those of you that haven't seen a clear soup video before, I'll come on to why we're doing this in a minute, but we need to get this chilling. Uh, eight eggs. We can use the egg yolks for like a custard or something for another day. Need to wash my hands, but this should be enough. So effectively what we're doing is making a consomme today. I think I've got that right. Consomme. Where you actually lift the colour by using an egg white raft. I really, like, I really hope this works for me again. But again, like I say, I, I kind of want it to be murky. This is 2.5 kilos of tomatoes. Which um, I don't need to do this, it's gonna get blended up, but we might as well try and help blend a little bit. But as you can see, the capacity of that thing, uh, that's one tomato, and of course there's loads of air gaps. This might take quite a while. Ooh. Right, I'll see you in a bit, okay? I've got a lot more to do, and that stinks. Why does it remind me of human flesh? Oh, in that goes. So some acidity, and that suddenly smells very pungent. <laughs> This pan uh, I've had for blooming years, and you might notice it's slightly out of shape. I don't know how. Uh, I actually made a giant sushi in here once. But it is absolutely gigantic. Loving the noises, mate. Loving it. Get some heat on it. And we're going to bring that up to a simmer. As the standard ketchup looks on in confusion, all I've been doing is just stirring this as it comes up to a heat. And I know we're going to probably have to add more, but because I just want to get something else in there, I've got a teaspoon of salt and two teaspoons of sugar. I'm just gonna stir that in for the moment, okay? So I'm just emptying this now to use for another day and I'm relieved that it is actually a clear bottle. I don't know if you've noticed this, um, here's a clip of me in the supermarket. In fact, this is a mustard bottle for an example. What they started doing is actually like coloring the plastic so that you don't know how much is in the bottle. Shrinkflation, damn you. This should hopefully peel off nicely. Oh yes, there it comes. This is simmered for half an hour. That killed some time, didn't it? And this is why I chose a handle with a spout. And I really wanted to sing a nursery rhyme then, but instead I'm going to concentrate. No pun intended, concentrate, way. Uh, this is really, really burning my arm. Oh, look at that. That's not something you see every day, is it? That's clear as it's coming through, right? We've not even started the process fully yet. This is magic, honestly. Okay, it's still red, all right, but not as intense already. And if anyone's got any ideas what I could do with this, maybe I could make some sort of powder out of it. My own spice. There's a lot of like bringing it hot, cold, hot, cold with uh, today. This is gonna come up to a simmer and we're hopefully gonna get some sort of foam that we can skim off. Living by the seaside, I actually do see foam wash up sometimes. I'm like, oh yeah, that, where's that foam come from? Don't know what it is. I'd love it if it was someone in Australia just doing the washing up liquid like that going, there we go, this will get them. This will get these English folks. Now, this is a whisk worth taking and actually a really fun step. So what's gonna happen is we've got our chilled egg whites. I'm actually gonna add some basil in, okay? I just would need to add some sort of herb of some kind. So if you haven't worked it out, we are now building our raft. So what we do is give that a good old whisk until the egg whites start to foam but it all goes in there. Little whisk together. And that is gonna be our raft, AKA a really weird white omelet, as you'll see. So it doesn't look like much right now. Really low heat, like really low flame, okay? So not much is happening right now, but as it's warming, some of that egg white is coming to the surface, okay? Our raft is starting to be formed. Basically, the point of the egg white in its most simple form is it's to try and get rid of all the 
dirt, no, muck, uh, impurities, that's a good word. It's, look, there we go, look at that. Although to me right now, it looks like mozzarella and that would be incredible. <laughs> so the raft is done. I just gave this a very gentle prod and all of this area is actually cooked egg white too. It's just covered with a little bit of stained tomato. Get a ladle and scoop out an area of the foam. See that? So for the next 20 minutes or so, it's a bit painstaking, but in that bit of raft there, any little lumps that come to the surface, I'm not gonna hack into it much more, just gonna get them out of the way. Can you see, I'm not sure, can you see how clear that is? That's crazy. And we've got almost like this little peephole. <laughs> and the really weird thing is, you, you could actually eat that uh, white omelette thing, that'd be flavored with tomato and basil, not the worst thing in the world. I might actually do that. It's like a cooking placenta. So now I can get my uh, ladle back and have a bit more control. Still gonna get bits of egg white in there. Can you see that? <laughs> Let's pour that through. Ooh. To be fair, that's looking not too bad. Um, it's gonna take quite a while. <laughs> I might need some more kitchen towel in a minute. We'll see how that holds up. But for reference, I'm just pushing down on the raft to collect the fluid and pouring it through like that. It does have the tiniest yellow hue to it. And if I really wanted to push it, I could probably do the raft again and like keep filtering it over and over. More importantly, I just hope that I've got enough. I'm gonna try the raft. That's really horrible. Oh my gosh. Actually, now I've got rid of that. The, the, the hue is minor. <gasps> That is soup, <laughs> but it's not sweet enough. It's really strong actually, concentrated, which is good. You wouldn't think it looking at that, but that's the whole point of that process. It needs, it needs thickening. So we are gonna make a slurry. And the pan like that, that is actually clear. A teaspoon of corn flour, a tablespoon of water. Now I might only use a half of this at first. I want to try and just get that texture, that consistency right, because then I want to flavour it as well with the salt and the sugar. So whilst I'm just bringing it up to heat again, uh, remember this is part of a clear recipe playlist I've done over the years. If you fancy checking them out, there's some pretty fun ones indeed. And of course, if you're not subscribed to the channel already, please consider doing so for regular videos each week. Uh, I mean, you're already here if you're not subscribed, so you might as well if you've enjoyed it. All right, here we go. And we'll just stir that through. Honestly, that is so weird, the smell of tomato coming from that. <laughs> just like, what? We are nearly there, I think. I've uh, added the rest of the corn flour, had a cheeky taste, and it needs sugar 100%. It is way too savoury. I'm not sure if you can see, but before my eyes, it is starting to thicken. We are nearly there. Oh my gosh. That just needs like a smidgen more sugar and a little extra kick of salt. Oh my gosh, that's like having the sea. Ah, I'll tweak it till I'm happy with it. But before that, a story about a label. That's a bit too big, isn't it? Ah, slightly. Yeah, actually. Seven, so you want sort of like. Oh, that's pretty much there, isn't it? Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> oh, thank you, Matt. <laughs> it should be doing tax returns and stuff and like I've got you helping me with ketchup labels. Thank you, Matt, for the label help, but I have some bad news. <laughs> I've added corn flour, which normally I would sometimes add to gravies or something, which of course, clear gravy, uh, is not clear. And look, it's made it murky. Now, luckily for me, I've got some more in the raft left over, just about enough. Uh, and I've got something called arrowroot, which is very similar and I believe uh, it does have more of a clearer resemblance. Uh, all will be revealed and come clear now. Please don't go cloudy. Please don't go cloudy. Please don't go cloudy. I think I'm maybe overthinking this. And I don't even want clear ketchup. What am I doing? Alrighty, folks. I think I might have set this one a bit too much. I'm taking that off the heat. Should we take it? I put more sugar in and a teeny bit more salt. Right, here we go. It's really thickened up in the pan. Here we go, let's just get it down. Oh no! Oh! Uh. I think it's in there. Oh 
my god, that is bizarre. With a label on it, it might look good. I'm really happy with that. I mean, you can, it's, it's not fully, fully, fully clear, but I'm gonna take it. And the lid going on as well will maybe make it look even cooler. And the really crazy thing is, it does smell genuinely like hot tomatoes. Come on now. Oh my gosh. Look at that. <laughs> That's amazing. We've absolutely nailed that until we try it. That's cool. I don't yeah. think it's going to taste as good as it smells. I've put a lot of sugar and a bit of salt in there. Okay. Um, right, uh, chips? Oh, go on then. Gotta have chips with ketchup, right? Yeah. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Look, you can't even see it. Hang on, let me see if I can focus on that one more time. Oh my gosh. Ooh. I'm getting ketchup. I'm <laughs> forgetting there's a oh. sauce and getting it on my hand. Oh, it smells good. It smells like it. Smells it. like ketchup. Ready? Mmm. It's a cold chip. They are cold. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was more thinking about the, mm. the chip being cold than the ketchup. Yeah, me too. That me. is slightly more intense than ketchup. There's a much more depth to it. Yeah. I've probably put in a little bit too much sugar, perhaps. Mm, it is quite, quite sweet. That is genuinely like ketchup. Yeah. I'd much rather it's sweeter though than like sour. Yes. Or I, it was salt and sugar I was playing with. Uh, um, and I put too okay. much in at one point and oh, I can't believe this has worked. I know. Well I, done. It's not perfectly really? clear, but even the picture that I was sent, I was like, that looks like wallpaper paste or something. So, um, yeah. Oh, <laughs> and I love this sticker too. Yes, thank you Tom for that one and uh, Matt for helping out. Um, oh, and I just noticed even the tomatoes clear. I don't, oh I don't want to do clear recipes, but you guys have been hounding me. So um, maybe from time to time I'll hop back on it. Um, thank okay. you for hounding me because I suppose we've, we've learnt we can do it. I generally think I would use pectin next time for jam making, the jam making sugar. Ah, uh, okay. Because I think yeah. that, that does help set it. Um, and because you're putting sugar in anyway, I would be really interested to try that. Mm, um, I, I might, can't, yeah. can't quite believe you've done it. It's pretty cool. <sighs> Neither can I. If you enjoyed this video, like I say, don't forget to subscribe and check out the other clear recipes if you wish. Um, thank you to the names on the screen right now that support the channel on Patreon with access to our exclusive VIP Discord that helped me pick my thumbnails and other fun stuff. So cheers. Uh, remember, ketchup is for life, not just for seeing through it.